All right, so now we'll be covering the enhanced small solar power solution. All right, and what we're going to do in this video is we're going to add an additional battery to the system to increase the amp hour capacity to 20 amp hours from the 10 that's already in the system. And we're going to show you a unique way to add multiple devices, um, power outputs, and also uh, more than one solar panel input. Okay, so for the system, what you're going to need is an additional battery. Again, we're using the same 10 amp hour battery here. And we're going to need a parallel battery wiring harness. Okay, so little short tutorial on batteries. If you wire in parallel, positive to positive, negative to negative, that's going to increase your amp hour capacity. So these are 10 amp hour batteries. We have two of them. We're now going to have 20 amp hours of battery. Again, these are 12 volt batteries. If we wire in a series that's positive to a negative and positive negative to the power poles post, um, that's going to wire your battery in a series. Uh, for a series, we'll have 12 volt batteries. If you have two of them, you now have 24 volts, but you only have 10 amp hours of battery storage. So parallel increases amp hours, series increases voltage. Again, we're going to wire this in parallel. All right, so first what we're going to do is disconnect the existing battery um, wiring harness that's in here uh, quickly by pulling off the female ends. We're going to mount a second battery in here. We're going to mount it in the same direction as the first, all right, so the terminals towards the front. And this one is tricky uh, because you, don't, you have limited space to get the battery in there, but there's more than enough space for the battery to fit. So... The best way I figured it out is to angle the battery backwards like this towards the back, line it up with the other battery, slide it to the side, and then down and then around. It's the best way, but it doesn't really work either way. Um, so you're going to have to use your handy little butter knife to finish the system, make sure everything's in place correctly. That was quick. Alright, so if you need to use the butter knife to loosen up the Velcro, get it in the right place you can. But I actually got a first time go on this one, which is rare. Alright, so now we have two batteries in there. You can shake them around, turn them upside down, they're not going anywhere. Alright, so now that the second battery is mounted in there, um, we came up with a system so you didn't have to run a new battery wiring harness. So you can either switch between battery one or battery two, or you can wire them in parallel. So this parallel wiring harness has two positives and two negatives. Um, all of them have, on this end at least, they have the female um, terminals. On the back end, they have male terminals, which is just a single terminal. Okay, for this system, we're going to wire positive and positive, and then repeat for negative and negative into the, the batteries that are in place doesn't really matter which order, positive, positive, negative, negative. So it looks like it slipped off. Alright, so it looks like that. Positive, positive, negative, negative. Again, we're wiring series. And we're going to take the pre-existing battery harness, the one with the fuse already in there, and wire it to this. So we're going to take female to male, negative. Put it in there, female to male positive, put it in there as such. We're then going to twist this power cable around so it's out of the way. And before we continue on, we're going to test the system out. So I'm going to take my cigarette lighter to two pole adapter, plug it in here, I'm going to plug in my light. Turn it on. Okay, so it's wired correctly with 12 volts. Again, we wired in parallel. All right, so you can see right now with this system right here, we can only use one device at a time or charge with one solar panel at a time. You could use one of these 12 volt splitters. It's good to have because it also also has the USB ports. Sorry, the hiccups. I can plug that in here, flip the switch. You can see that I have 
a splitter here. But for this system, we decided to go with two posts, two pole connectors. You can make one like I did, or you can purchase one from Battery Tinder. We'll have all the products uh, listed on the how to step by step guide. So, Battery Tinder, you can purchase one, it's already made for you, very clean. Um, so, that's one component. And the second component is an iMOBE four in one splitter. And what it takes is one two pole connector and splits it to four. The cool thing about these two pole connectors is they remain in order. So if you wire your own two poles to your devices, just make sure that you're following the right order. Um, so what I can do now is plug in this battery tender two pole connector. All right, plug that in, plug in my iMOBE splitter to it. So I went from one to four, and I can plug in multiple devices as long as my devices have two pole ends on them. All right, so we have our light turned on. Hopefully get that out of the camera so it's not blinding us. And now I can plug in a 12-volt fan as well. So now you can see the fan. You can probably hear it. All right. So now we have two devices hooked up to this system. Again, we're taking one output and we're hooking up up to four different devices to the small system, just adding to that capability. The cool thing also about this is you can unplug it from your power outputs and plug it into your solar panel input. So now if you have more than one solar panel, you can plug in up to four solar panels into this unique little splitter. All right, so that's how we use modular components to get more bang for your buck and to expand the system. So again, for the enhanced solar battery, um, solar project that we're doing here, sorry, uh, we've increased the amp hour capacity to 20 amp hours by putting in a nifty little parallel wiring harness. And we're also showing you how to use other off-the-shelf components to make your system uh, a little bit more practical and usable um, whenever you really need it. Again, the goal of this system is to get you started with solar power if you have not already done so. It's also a great little emergency power source for fans or lights, especially LEDs. So what can this system power? This system by itself with one 10 amp hour battery can run this 16 diode LED light for 75 hours. Just give you a little bit of perspective without charging the batteries. So if you have a little bit of sunlight out there and the panels are pushing you know, some amperage to the, to the batteries, then you could essentially light that for weeks at a time if you needed to. Um, but more than likely, you're not going to be running it for 75 hours straight. Um, you can run this fan probably for a few hours. I haven't really done a load test on this to see what it's at, but I'm sure that a D-cell battery can run it overnight. A couple D-cell batteries can run it overnight. This system can you know, surely beat that. So we'll have to test it out and see how long these batteries can push that little fan. But again, we're taking one very small solar solution on a budget. Again, the base model is $150. Uh, we've added a few more components, and we'll have to get the price total for that. But it really depends on how you configure your product. So thank you for joining us again at PrepperLink.com. Uh, please let us know what you think. Please stop by the website. We have other how-tos and step-by-steps, and we uh, create original content um, daily. So please let us know what you think. Thanks again.